Oh, what's up again there guys, Brian here at 3TR, and here to present to you my official movie review for the newest installment in the 007 series, this one being titled Spectre. Now this movie brings together once more and probably for the last time the very well used talent of Daniel Craig as 007 James Bond and director Sam Mendes right off the successful heels of Skyfall. Now in terms of plot, Spectre takes place a little bit after the events of Skyfall, in which after Bond gets back from a very destructive mission in Mexico City during Halloween, he then stumbles upon a path onto a secret organization, and after going a little bit further into his research, he then discovers that this organization is known as Spectre, and it somehow has ties to him in a secretive sense, and it's up for him and his 007 team in order to figure out exactly what Spectre is and how to take them down. Now, I'm going to pretty much sound like a broken record because I'm pretty sure everyone who has seen this movie will say most of the same thing. And that is to say that Spectre is not a bad 007 movie, but compared to Skyfall and something like Casino Royale, Out, it's not a great 007 movie. It certainly has its good moments, but it is a little bit disappointing if you were expecting something on the level of those two films. Now, let's go over what the movie gets right. I think that Daniel Craig, once again, being James Bond, was great. He knows how to play this role fairly well, even though from reports he doesn't want to do it anymore and he had a really terrible time making this film, which is a shame because he really is a truly amazing James Bond and he fits the role perfectly. I would say that the majority of the returning cast do their parts as well. However, it's the addition of some of the newer cast members which really don't do a really great job, especially on the villain side. I would say that all the villains in this movie were really serious letdowns, especially Christoph Waltz, which I'll get into him much later. But that's really all you need to say in terms of cast. Now, another thing this movie really does very right is it is pretty much filmed very beautifully. This is probably, in my opinion, the best shot James Bond film we've had probably since Skyfall, so not that long ago. Because the action scenes are very, very well edited, even though some of them have a couple of continuity issues in terms of how they're playing out. Uh, I thought that the music for this movie fit the tone very, very well, especially when the action and the solar moments were playing out. I thought the pacing of this film was pretty well at points, although it does jumble and jump around a lot, having to jump from what 007 and the new Bond girl are doing and what the MI6 team is doing. I, I think they could have blended those sections a little bit closer together. And the last quick thing I can say about Spectre is that if this really is 007 or this 007's last journey with Daniel Craig, I would say it's a solid send-off to his character, even though I, I I, think they could have done a, a somewhat better job. Now, here's where the movie, for me, kind of starts to fall apart a little bit, but not enough to completely disintegrate, is that I thought that Christoph Watt's performance as the main villain of this, of this film was a complete letdown, especially when you find out who exactly what he is. And I don't like how this felt the need to want to connect this movie with all the Daniel Craig films, and then when you find out what the motivation is, I thought it was pretty lackluster and disappointing. I hate movies that use this particular plot twist because I think it's cheap and just a ripoff of much better films. I mean, if you're going to make a motivation for a villain to be doing what he's doing, you got to come up with something better. Uh, I thought that Dave Bautista, as the supposed henchman of this movie, was a bit let down because he really doesn't get to feel like a character. I, I mean, I was actually a bit excited to see what he could do, especially from what I saw him do as Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy, which I very much liked him in. And in this one, he's just kind of wasted because you could put anyone in his part. And another thing I felt was really, really disappointing was that they felt the need to add much more comedy. And this felt like something that it, it, it should not be used with Daniel Craig's 007. This was something you would expect to see in like Roger Moore's time of 007. I mean, there is literally a scene in this movie that has Daniel Craig have a conversation with a mouse. And it's supposed to be funny, but it's not. It just feels kind of awkward and out of place. And there are multiple scenes throughout this movie where Daniel Craig is saying and doing things that he really should not be doing. And so it kind of takes you out of his 007 performance because 
he's not supposed to be doing this. He's supposed to be this type of Bond, and he shouldn't be doing these things. So it really kind of dilutes kind of the experience in, in what we've been used to seeing from Daniel Craig's 007. But again, it doesn't necessarily hurt the entire film. It's still very much enjoyable. I just think that in terms of some story plots, they could have been smoothened out. The movie could have been a little bit shorter. The villains could have been much, much better to handled. And apart from that, if you were expecting a solid send-off to this James Bond, if this really is Daniel Craig's last 007 movie, they could have done a much better job and maybe given us a bit of a headway in what we could expect from the next 007 movie. If I had to give this movie a rating, I'm going to give 007 Spectre a B-. Chances are you've already seen it and you might agree with my personal rating and I think it's a good James Bond movie, but nothing great. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want to see this again, but maybe if there was nothing else on on TV. If you like my movie review, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check out my future movie reviews. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you next time.